you need for more than two blocks away. You need to turn the equipment down. Okay. Stay here, but you gotta turn the equipment down. <coughs> okay. Did did you have a, a did you have a, a decibel meter? What? I'm sorry. Do you have a decibel meter? I don't have one, but I can hear it two blocks away. If I can hear it that okay. far away, it's too loud. You gotta turn it down. Well, I know I'm allowed to be 80 decibels. So. Well, I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. Yeah. Well, this I am because that's what the law this says. Is, yeah, this is not just public. This is the plaza. So we have our own decibel level, but you have to turn it down. Well, I'm asking you nicely. Okay, I, I understand you're asking okay. me nicely, but you're asking so you me think, to you should go against my, go ahead and my turn rights. It down huh? I appreciate it if you turn it down like, as nicely as I ask you. I appreciate it. You'd All appreciate right. that. Mm -hmm. He loves it today. It's a love story for God so loved the world. Oh, I can. It's legal. I got. I got the sound ordinance right here, officer. Okay. Um. We did get one complaint on you, but yeah. as far as I'm concerned, we need more people like you doing this. So, yeah. yeah. just all right oh yeah Jesus is all right he's feeling good Jesus is feeling good all the time his love Jesus's love is better than wine we got to get out of ourselves and into Jesus yeah got to drink some of that new wine of Jesus Christ Get out of that churchianity and into Jesus. Jesus frees us. Have you considered Jesus this week with all your problems? All the things that are coming against you, you can't handle them. Life is just so whatever. What is life like, sir? Make America great again. There's a Trump supporter. Make, make, make America great again. Well, actually... In God we trust is on our dollar bill, and uh, the new quarters have come out. I guess the In God we trust is no longer in front of us; it's behind us. Like we're we're past trusting God, and we're we're ready for the the mark of the beast to put a six 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 in our our wrist. We can buy and sell just by swiping with putting our, our computer chips in our body and stuff yeah that's that's called uh, the beginning of the end where all of a sudden Jesus Christ is uh, told by the Heavenly Father it's time and he splits open the eastern sky and we will see him and he will discern it the thoughts of millions of people all at once and some will hate him and they'll they'll horror hurl insults at Jesus the hurl insults at Jesus they never understood Jesus they never called out for Jesus you know why did God why do you keep sending these weirdos down here every Friday night to talk about Jesus we just came down here to have fun girls just want to have fun oh girls just want to have fun fun I want to have 
fun. We want to have fun. Jesus has fun. Oh, no, he said that name. That man, Jesus, he said the name. I didn't say Jesus. Some people call him Jesus, and they, they sincerely say that. So we're out here tonight just because we're we're kind of crazy for Jesus. We're kind of a fool for God. That's what that's what the Bible says. Be a fool for God and be truly wise. I might die tonight. You know, I might die in my sleep. I might die on the car wreck home or whatever. But I do know that I have trusted my soul to Jesus Christ. Jesus' name. There's no other name in which demons are stirred up. But the name of Jesus. He wants to come into your heart and into your spirit. He loves you. He created you. He loves you. So we call out to the name of Jesus. Right now. Right now, right now, we call out to the name of Jesus. I hate to say it, but God didn't make them Adam and Steve. He made them Adam and Eve. He loves you just like you are, but he tells every one of us we need to get born again. I cast out them demons in the name of Jesus. Leave that man in Jesus' name. Yes. You must go in Jesus' name. Leave him alone. Jesus is the only way. Amen, brother. He's the only way. You can't drink demons out of you. You got to go to the one who has authority over demons. That's Jesus. Jesus. sucking dick. <laughs> I don't hear what he said. What did he say? He said Jesus loves sucking dick. Oh, is that a guy named Sucking? Is that a man? No, he doesn't. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't have enough belief to believe that uh, Jesus is uh, whatever that was that you said. Bless these policemen in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Protect this officer. He's trying to help us out here. Satan's out here trying to confuse everything. He's the author of confusion, but I'm talking about the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ. He's knocking at the door of your heart. It's getting late, man. The sirens are going off. It's getting late. We're not meant to be here. We're here for a short amount of time. Then we're going on. We're going to meet him, and he's going to hes going to say, did I know you? Did you let me in your heart? It's not a laughing matter, bro. Yes. Praise the Lord. Get on board. It's crazy. I'm here to tell you about this Jesus tonight. I'm not talking about religion or religiosity or churchianity. I'm asking, do you know this Jesus? Do you know Him? Have you ever opened the door? You're going to give account for that, ma'am. But you don't have to. You can be found not guilty due to lack of evidence. If you know this Jesus, oh, don't you know there's hope in the cross tonight? I'm not talking about religion or religiosity. It's not about steeples or bells. It's about a personal, intimate relationship that you can have with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus. Don't you know He died that you might live? I said Jesus Christ of Nazareth of Galilee. He conquered sin, death, and the grave and rose again. I'm here today to tell you it's not a stuffy dead religion. It's a real relationship that you can have with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You see, Jesus said, unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. How, how can we be more righteous than the most holy people of His day? I'll tell you how. It's through the blood. The blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary's cross for you and for me. Don't you know? He was beaten and bruised and nailed to a wooden cross that whosoever will. Oh, don't you know the Prince of Life, the one that spoke and the universe leapt into existence. The one that created trees suffered and died on a tree for you and for me. I'm here today to tell you about life, real life that you can have in Jesus Christ. But the main thing is Jesus said it. You have to be born again. You have to be born again. 
He said, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. It's a moment in your life when you just threw open the blood doors of your heart. You invited Jesus to come in. You invited Jesus to become Lord of your life. Have you ever had a moment like that? Have you ever had a moment where Jesus came in and became Lord of your life? See, the, the devil doesn't like, like me telling this good news. The devil sends agents out here to, against me. There's people in the world that, that are going to hate you. Jesus said, if you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you're not of this world, but I have chosen you out of this world, therefore the world will hate you. You see, He told us that there would be people just like this man right here. The Bible told us and that there would be scoffers and mockers in the last day. He's, a, he's literally a fulfillment of prophecy right here, right now. You know, Jesus told us. He said that, he said that he said, many shall come in my name saying I am Christ even. And they shall, uh, they, they shall say, Lord, we did all these works in my name. And, and, they, and they preached in my name and they prophesied in my name. In my name they cast out demons. And he said, I will declare to them, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Because I never knew you. You've got to know Him. And that's all I'm here today to ask you. Is do you know Jesus? Do you know Him? You can know Him right now if you just pray. He made it as simple as that. He said, by your words you're justified. Or by your words you're condemned. It's simply on the tip of your tongue. Salvation is available right now. If you just pray. And say, Lord forgive me a sinner. I receive what You did on Calvary's cross as payment for my sin. Help me to follow You. Teach me. Teach me Your ways, Lord. Help me to get in Your Word and get Your Word into me. And help me to follow You the rest of my life. I want you to know if you pray that prayer, the Bible says all of heaven is rejoicing. All of heaven is rejoicing. It says the angels of heaven rejoice when one person comes home. So I'm here today to tell you there's hope in Jesus. Yeah, this guy here, he's, he's fulfilling Bible prophecy. The Bible said that, that the world would hate you. He said if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you're not of this world, therefore I have chosen you out of this world. He doesn't realize it, but he's, he's drawing attention to the gospel. Glory. Thank you, Lord, for the hecklers. Thank you, Lord, for sending hecklers. Oh, because cause they actually draw attention to the gospel. Hallelujah. I'm just here today. I'm a nobody here to tell anybody about a somebody. I'm not trying to make a name for myself. I'm not out here trying to solicit any money. I don't need your money, actually. I've got a, a, I've got a job. I do this because I love you. I love you, sir. I, God sent me out here with the love in my heart for everyone here because uh, God doesn't want anyone to go to hell. God says He's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But you see, the choice is yours. It says in, in John 1, He came to His own, His own received Him not. But as many as received Him to them, He gave power to become the children of God. We've got the, the choice. We've been given the right to choose between heaven and hell, between life and death. It's whether you receive this Jesus. Do you accept him into your heart? Dude, people live here. Shut the fuck up. No, no God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. There's a thing called First Amendment rights. <laughs> There's a thing called First Amendment rights. It says, Congress shall make no laws respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or of the freedom of speech or of the press. Oh, glory. Thank God for the Constitution that gives me the right to be here. Hallelujah. We're celebrating. We're celebrating Memorial Day today. And we're remembering the soldiers that suffered and died. All the soldiers that, that suffered and died in, in battle so that I could have the right right now because the Constitution bears me the right to freedom of speech. These people suffered and died. They shed their their very blood on the on the battlefield so that you and I could have freedoms. And that's that's 
That's an amazing thing. The freedom that we enjoy right now is because of the, the bloodshed of men and women that were courageous and were willing to stand up and say, no, for my, uh, freedom is more important than my life. I want you to know it's, a, it's an honorable thing. It's an amazing thing. <clears throat> but unless you're born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Jesus said, you must be born again. God bless you, sir. There's hope in Jesus. Oh, glory. There's life in Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this heckler. Thank you, Lord. Your word says that the world hates you. You know that hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own, but because you're not of this world, but I've chosen you out of this world, therefore the world shall hate you. The world hates the gospel. The world hates this gospel. And he doesn't know it. Father, forgive him. He knows not what he's doing. Father, bless that man with the truth. Help him to come to the light. Get off your cell phone. Quick call to Facebook. Call to him. He is your true friend. Yes, he is. And he hasn't blocked you either. We're out here tonight just because we're sinners that were we met Jesus and he has made us do clothes of righteousness. We're not walking around trying to be somebody we're not. We're just following him because he lives in our heart. Ask him in your heart tonight.